I made this Valentine's Day box for my son and when I posted it online, it had several people DM me asking me how I made it. So I decided to make a PDF that you can buy on the Etsy link in the description to this video. You print off this PDF, buy some 65 pound cardstock, print it off on here and then use the rest of this video as your instructions on how to put your paper Darth Vader helmet together. Supplies you're gonna need for this project, you'll need a ballpoint pen, some sort of straight, jet, straight edge, scissors, Elmer's glue, and then the only thing you might have to go out and buy is uh, 65 pound cardstock. You can see this is where I got the black in. It, if you've never bought cardstock, it shows you right there, 65 pounds. I get this at Michael's, it's like four bucks or something like that. Here you see I printed off all the PDFs. This is a lighter gray paper that I use so that in this video you can see what's gonna happen. But all these lines and stuff are gonna be the inside of the helmet and you're not gonna see it. You can also mess around with how big you want the uh, helmet to be. Uh, like this, when I printed off the PDF, I just adjusted it to 50% and made this one that's about the size of a softball. Just something you can mess around with. That said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is cut all these out. Wherever you see a solid line, those are for cutting. The dash lines you're not gonna touch, those are for folding, which we'll do later. So I'm gonna cut all the way around this, this piece A, I'm gonna cut around all the way around on the solid lines. And I'll go ahead and do that with all of my pieces. Um, and then the other one is the little mouthpiece here, or whatever you would call that. The, uh, I don't know what Darth Vader would call this. The part that he breathes through. <sighs> These little black marks here, you're not gonna cut those out either. Just leave those there, that's for, hopefully you can see uh, the vents on his mouth uh, piece again, if that's what it's called. Let's, let's go ahead and start cutting here. And I should also say, if you mess up while cutting these, no big deal, you can just print it off again. Hopefully, any cardstock you bought, you probably bought it in like a 50 pack. So if you mess up on a piece, no big deal, you can just print it off again. So no need to panic if you mess up. You can really print this PDF as many times as you want. As you can see, as I'm cutting here, I'm gonna skim through the rest of this just to show you. I'm trying to cut right on the outside edge of the black line. This isn't a precise model. This isn't gonna, you're not gonna hang this in the labor. So it doesn't gotta be 100% perfect, but you do wanna be as accurate as you can. So I'm just cutting on the outside of the black line. One thing you'll see when you're cutting these, there's a few pieces where lines will kind of run into each other, okay? As you can tell, like on this line here, it's a continuation of this line, and this line gets cut off. So when I cut that, I'm gonna follow this line all the way until it ends. Like that, all right? And when I cut this line, I just obviously just cut till I get to the edge of the end piece, the uh, paper. All right, we got all the pieces cut out and we are gonna get started with piece A. So, first thing we gotta do is we gotta score these lines that we're gonna be folding. So a secret you may have learned on some of my other projects is if you draw a line, a perfectly straight line on a piece of paper, when you go to fold it, you will fold a perfectly straight line. So we're gonna draw a line in each one of these checkered or uh, striped lines. What I'm gonna do on these ones is I'm going to follow See how the end of the mask right there? I'm just gonna follow that all the way up. Like I said, use my straight edge, press down on a ballpoint pin, and when we go to fold this in a second, that'll fold super easily. So up here, same thing, following the edge of the mask right there, draw a straight line. I'll do that on the other two sides. And now we're gonna fold the pieces we just scored. As you can see on this one, we have some that we fold in, some that we fold out. When I say an in fold, I mean that checkered line or that striped line should end up in the middle. So that's the infold. Throwing this way out is gonna be the other way. I fold it this way. And you see, because I scored that, the paper almost wants to fold in that part that I drew. So out means it's folding away. So when you fold these two sides, it should end up like this. In meaning as if you're folding it and covering up that in. Out, when I fold it, I can still see the out. So Let's move on to piece B. We'll set that aside, grab piece B. Piece B looks like the craziest, most complicated piece we have here. Okay, mine printed kind of all messed up. You'll, yours won't look like this when you fix it. But you see once again, we have some striped lines that we're gonna have to score. When I score these, I'm gonna do a time lapse, but you can see there's like a point there and a point there. I'm gonna draw a line between each one of those points. I'm gonna do that here, here, here. And then here, I'm gonna follow the edge of that all the way out to the end. 
All right, all scored up. Now it's gonna be time to fold. These are all gonna be in folds, okay? So once again, mine is all messed up, but you should see a big B right here. If that B is facing me, I'm gonna fold them all towards me like this, okay? None of them are gonna fold outwards. All right, now, there was also two little teeny tiny dash lines here that you're gonna to wanna to fold. Uh, doesn't even need to be scored, I don't believe, because it's so small. But those are gonna fold in like that. Now, this is gonna be our first time gluing on this model. The big point about gluing is you do not need a lot of glue, okay? A little bit of glue will hold it. It'll get the job done. It'll dry away faster. And if you put too much glue on, you'll create waves on the paper. It just won't look good. So we're gonna attach this piece here to this piece here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna create the depth for Darth Vader's eyes. So this little tab here was created so that we can attach it. When I say a little glue, I'm serious. Like you do not need that much glue. All right, little dot on each side. Now I'm gonna attach this to the very top corner here. And I'm gonna try and get the paper to follow that curve here. And this one is a little bit tricky. This is one of the trickier ones you're gonna do. I got in that top corner. I press down that tab and literally if you just hold it for a few seconds, it's gonna stick there if you didn't use too much glue. If you lose a, use a lot of glue, it's gonna take a little while for that to dry. All right, so we got that going. Now, we're gonna bring in piece A, and this is probably the most complicated part we're gonna be doing. You can do it, I believe in you. So if I hold it up like this, you can see the spot where the nose goes. When you hold piece up like this, you can see the eyes. So you kind of get an idea how this is gonna to come together. Now, this cheekbone pad at the top is going to align with this cheekbone pad guys okay I haven't done this while recording yet so this might be a little bit hard for me to do but we are just gonna do one side of the face first and then we'll move on to the other side so cheekbone pad this is the tab we use to attach did make sure to put the glue close to the edge here on the folded side because that's what's gonna be you're gonna be seeing now I'm lining it up with this cheekbone here and I'm trying to get it right up on the edge there there. Okay, once I put it there, again, hold down for a second, press down on it, and you can see, oh, I do need to adjust that a little bit. So I didn't do that perfectly because I was too busy talking to you guys. But I'm trying to get it so there's almost no space in between those two sides. So once I put that down, I'm just going to wait a second, and then I'm going to move on to the next piece. So the middle of these three big flanges is going to go right here. All right, now I got that in. Now, this big like nose piece, piece B, you're gonna have to bend it out again. And now I'm aligning with the bottom part right here. So this little part of piece A that sticks out, right there, is aligning with here. This time, I'm gonna go underneath a little bit. Should have some space to go underneath, have a little bit of overlap, if that makes sense. So, when I glue these together, this corner right here is going to align with this corner right here. So now we got one side of the face mask put together. It would be a pretty good idea maybe to wait uh, three or four minutes before you move on to the next part. Uh, that way the glue is dried. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the other side. I'm going to fold this and the same spots are uniting to the same spot over here. So. One little thing I forgot to mention uh, before I started this is you want to make sure this long nose flap is on top of here, not under here. All right, so there you have it. If you've got through this, you probably got through the hardest part of the project. So congratulations. Put it right here. You can sign, kind of see a face starting to take shape or a mask starting to take shape. So we're gonna go ahead and grab piece C, which is Darth Vader's. Again, I'm not sure what you call this, like a mouthpiece or a vent. This is gonna end up going right here. The best way to do this is we're gonna place this paste down. I'm gonna take the mask, and there are two tabs right here that we're gonna to use to attach to the mouthpiece. As you see there, his mask is on. Mouthpiece, mask, whatever it's called. And then what I'm gonna do though, since these two tabs are the only thing holding that in place, 
I'm just gonna put some little dabs of glue up in like the nose area. Now, moving on to piece D. This is gonna be the back of Darth Vader's head. All right, it might help you a little bit to get this curving. A lot of times to get the curve, I just grab it on the edge of, the, of a desk and just drag it a couple times. That way it won't fight, uh, put up as much resistance. Haha, <laughs> pun. Uh, it won't put up as much resistance. Now, I'm gonna time lapse through this, but all I'm gonna do is putting these edges together, trying to line these up, overlap just a few centimeters or it's millimeters, and go from the bottom up. It will not go all the way up and it doesn't need to go all the way up. So. Now that I've glued those together, I'm actually gonna wait a second before I pull this, curve this piece around, because it's gonna be putting this under a lot of stress uh, and the glue's gonna wanna break. So you might wanna wait a second before you do that. And now I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. This fold we have here, we're basically straightening it out. Um, it just looks cool, I guess. It creates a crease there. I'm going to go again, putting some dots all the way down. And then I am going to curve piece D, starting in the corner here, pull my mask straight, just overlapping a few millimeters. And here, hold that down. We got Darth Vader's head made. All right, now we just need the dome. So we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna get piece E out. All right, E and F are the same exact thing. So I'm only gonna give instructions for one of them and then you can kind of figure it out. So again, E and F, same thing's going on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking these pieces and uniting them. And as you can see the corner here of this tab, we don't need to fold these tabs, the corner here is where I want to glue right there. So see when they overlap, I'm gonna hold that together. Don't worry about this not being a perfectly straight line. We can, we're gonna trim that later. Don't worry about there being any separation here. We'll worry about that later. So I'll do one of these, then I'll time lapse it. So again, just putting some glue on the tab here or on the outside. I'm gonna fold these together until essentially I can't see the light in this little triangle right here. Once all that light is gone, they're ready to be pressed together. So I'll continue doing that on all the other tabs. All right, so once I got all those tabs glued, I got piece E pretty much done. I'm gonna go through, and again, little spots of glue. You don't need enough, or don't need a lot. Just put a little spot of glue about every inch going down this the line where the two pieces of paper collect. All right, now I'm gonna do the same exact thing on piece F. I'm not gonna bother recording it. Um, I'll be back in Magic of editing, half a second with this piece done. Boom, look at that, piece F is done. All right, so we got E and F here. They're gonna come together here in a second and they're gonna be united using piece, piece G. Now with piece G, we are going to set piece F away. Put some dabs of glue going all the way down the side here. So I'm gonna take piece E. Honestly, you could do either one of them. Doesn't really matter. Piece E. I'm gonna put it about in the middle of piece G here. And you probably get the idea of what we're doing. I really want to just make sure this first initial part is pretty tight on there before I move on. If I try and move on too early, it might slip off before it's bonded. All right, let's go ahead and um, waste some time. And now I think we're good. All right, so now I'm just going to be pushing piece E along the way. And uniting it with piece G. Oh, see, I separate a little bit there. Piece G, taking my time, making sure the glue holds before I move on to the next side. That will probably be a little bit harder since piece G won't be as flexible, but once again, putting a dab of glue all the way around the outside of piece G. Now I'm gonna take piece F and um, I've only done this a few times. This has been a part that I've struggled with. So you'll probably figure out a better way. But I'm gonna put it right in the middle, like this. If you can tell, I'm putting the middle of piece F up against piece G. And then I will worry about the other ones adjusting later, if that makes sense. So, just aligning it. I know that wasn't exactly the best camera angle. Aligning it here. F and E do not need to be uh, touching. They just 
got to make sure that they're, for the most part, aligned here at the bottom. Right. And again, like we talked about earlier, make sure this glue is uh, attached before I start moving on to the next piece. And if I really just grab here, make sure these are lined up here, everything in the middle should kind of fall into place. I'm just going to go around and trim off these little edges here, try and make this uh, as flat as possible. All right, moving on to piece, piece H, which looks like a butcher's cleaver. You see I already dabbed glue all around the top edge. We're going to get started here. We are going to align the corner of the helmet up with the middle stripe that we just put on, that piece G. We're going to line it up here, leave about an inch of space. I'm trying to figure out the best way to film this. Leave about an inch of space here when we put it on there. And we are just going to go around the helmet and try and do this actually kind of quickly so that if we need to readjust it, we can do it before the glue dries. All right, so let's see, come on around here. It is going to go past the edge of the middle a little bit. It's not going to line perfectly. Or everybody's helmet is different. You may not have attached the pieces the same exact way I did. If you're off by like a millimeter with each piece, that's gonna add up pretty quickly. So I left a little extra space here. Don't worry if this piece doesn't line up with the middle. So just holding this for a second, letting piece H dry a little bit. We got one side put on. Now we're gonna move on to piece I, our final piece. My printer messed up again print some weird patterns on it. I'll just, I'll fix that later. So once again, I'm going to put glue on the outside, except for this time I'm gonna go up the edge here because we're going to attach it to the other butcher's cleaver all the way around the top. But I'm gonna wait till the very end. I'm gonna wait to attach this part here. Again, go to piece H. Coming around town and then we want to align it up with piece H in the front. All right, so line that up with piece H in the front. Adjust the glue accordingly. If there's a little bit of overhang or anything, don't worry, we can trim that. This piece right here isn't gonna attach yet because we will trim that. All we're doing right now is we're gonna let this dry enough that we can start messing around. All right, hopefully that's good. Or well, I'll regret saying that. So here I go, trying to cut a straight line into that piece, like so. And then I'm going to try and sneak some glue in behind there. As always, it doesn't take a lot. Press that glue together, okay? And I'm gonna go around and do some trimming. If I see any of the top shell peeking through like here, I'm gonna trim that off. As you can see, my Piece H and piece I left a little bit of a weird piece right here. I'm gonna trim that off. Then around the back too, this didn't line up perfectly. So I kinda do do do. I'm just gonna trim around the edge and try to make that into a straight line. And the final piece we'll trimming we'll do to the helmet is all those dots we put on the inside here are all dry now. So I'm gonna go around the outside and you can see the spots where it's overhanging a lot like this. Again, we're not gonna make a perfect sphere with paper, but we do wanna get as close as possible. So I am going to get my scissors. I don't wanna get too close because I don't wanna create a hole. I'm gonna trim off a little bit just to make it look a little more accurate. And now the moment of truth, we're gonna put the helmet on top of the face mask. There, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my helmet. Put it on top of my face mask, make sure it's aligned. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Make sure it's aligned. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna wait for that glue that's on the forehead to dry. Through the magic of editing, we'll come back in about 10 minutes. We'll glue the backside and we'll be done with this model. All right, we're gonna flip her over. And see down the back of this school. All I need to do, a little bit of glue to attach piece D to the Headpiece, there. All right, put a little glue in the back. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have made a paper Darth Vader skull. Hell yeah. All right guys, I hope you liked that. If you make one of these, please uh, send it to me, send me a message and then tag me. 
on Twitter so I can retweet and show other people. I also think it'd be a fun challenge to see who can make the smallest paper Darth Vader head. And then also in the comments, let me know if there's any other uh, superhero or uh, anybody from Star Wars or you'd like to see uh, another model maybe that I could put out that you might enjoy making. So whoop whoop, hope you liked it and I'll catch you on the flippity flip.